Watch his hands. Position. Okay, hold it up. Let me introduce these players. Darrell Walker, the premier guard of the New York Knicks. And of course, you recognize Bernard King, the great scorer, great all-around player of the New York Knicks. You're supposed to be a small forward. What are you doing playing the pivot? Well, as you know, this, in this league, there's no difference between the small forward and the big forward. The small forward is generally a lot quicker. The big forward is more powerful. That's about the only difference. Therefore, you go into the pivot based a lot on who's guarding you. That's exactly right. If I have a man like Darren Walker guarding me, who's a guard, I would like to post up and try to shoot right over him. If I had a big man, I'd like to make him move a little bit laterally. All right, now let's demonstrate that. Now, you guard him and you try to stop the shot. Now, watch this closely. Now, you notice how he had his knees bent? You notice that? What's the reason for that? The reason for keeping my, my knees bent in the pivot, I found, is you have to bend your legs to shoot the ball, quite naturally. So when I receive the ball, I want my legs bent, I turn, and I can go right up before the man can straighten up and jump. All right, now, remember, when you're playing the forward position, don't let them tell you anything about power forward, small forward, or whatever. Now, if you're going to move around that pivot, how would you do that? You hear you got a small man. Suppose you don't want to shoot over him. You fake him. What I want to do is pay attention to where I'm at, the first and second marker. I want to post up on the second marker. Watch that. That's the floor. He checks the floor. There you go. You got the ball. Now, I got get my legs close. bent. Get him close. Okay. I want to turn on him and go up. Beautiful. All right. Now, that reminds me of something. Speaking of shooting, he was watching Darrell Walker. We're going to show you a little experiment. See this dollar bill? I'm not going to give it to him. He's going to have to get it to get it. Let me see you catch that bill. Never. Never. It's impossible to do it. The only way you do it is by luck or by anticipation. Therefore, when a guy is shooting the ball, over here, Bernard King, you stick your hand up. All right, now he'll shoot that ball. He knows that he can shoot the ball before Darrell Walker can move over. It's just like catching the dollar bill. Now, when you're taking a guy like him and you're facing him up, what do you watch on him? What do you want to watch on him is you know he's a quick player, so you don't want to put the ball on the floor because he's a very good defensive player. He can strip the ball from you. So you want to utilize your jumping ability, turn, keep your head up, and shoot over him. Pay no attention to his hand. There's the answer right there. Pay no attention to his hand. Actually, he does pay attention, but it doesn't bother him. That's exactly, That's exactly what the right. point. It doesn't bother him. So remember, if you're going to play the forward position, forget about this big forward, little forward. Do what you have to do, depending on the guy who's guarding you. Get the job done. Look at that hoop. Keep your head up, your knees bent, ready to go.